Okay, so let's watch the video. I don't know, it's like mental actions per minute. Um, I prefer to think of it as brain processing speed. Um, then the guy just talked about being like an unknown or unseen skill that all the high elo players have and that um, lower elo players need to think of it. And this is this is good uh, info. Can't really go in depth on it though. Um, as far as like uh, thinking brain processing speed, there's two types. Um, there's just like your plain, plain out like a uh, raw processing power. It's the first. And the second is your, um, like I'm gonna call it recollective processing power. I know it's not the right word, but I forget what it is. Um, and so the raw processing power is your simple ability to process things that are new to you. Right, so this is for new stuff. Um, and this is kind of like if you had a database and you're like searching uh, your, your mental database of stuff. Raw processing power and the recollective processing power. So the raw is like completely new. So the first time you play League, you're learning everything primarily with your raw processing power. Like unless you played uh, Dota, or here's a new earth or some other MOBA, um, you're pretty much using your raw processing power. Um, example of like the, the recollective processing power is, um, you know, you're still new to league, but you have a little bit more experience. You're playing Poppy. All right, Poppy W stops dashes. Um, it's kind of a mechanical skill. You need to hit the timing down. Um, you know, you've played Poppy versus Zen in lane and you're able to stop his E, right? That's something you've previously learned. Um, and now you're playing against an Aurelia, right? So instead of having to relearn how to stop it and the timing, you can see Aurelia's dash, right? Your brain can calculate that speed for you, like subconsciously. Um, and then you can adapt what you learned against how to stop Zin's dash and apply it towards Aurelia's dash. So the recollective processing power is taking past experiences that are similar or a lot of times exactly the same and using that to form your conclusion instead of having to completely crunch all new data. Um, interesting things about these, as we go through life, they kind of go through a big, a big U shape. That's not a big enough U. Um, whatever, a big U shape. So you have your your 20s your 30s your 40s i'm not sure 50 i'm gonna say 50 some more here and 70s so these two combined gives you like your overall brain processing speed. Um, and your raw power peaks in your 20s, right? But your rectolective power keeps going up all the time, right? So you're at your overall best brain processing speed in your 20s because the raw power is just so much stronger. Um, and then you kind of go down, right? So as you age, it goes down. And it comes back up. And this is in general. So there are outliers. And I don't know all the explanations for this. I'm going to brainstorm a little bit on that.
And then, um, you know, just for, for brain processing power, things you can do. Um, in the video I watched, it mentioned, you know, eating healthy, it's super key, uh, exercise, super key, sleep. You know, really, you need to get at least eight hours of sleep a night if you want to be on top of your mental game. It, it's a must. I sleep nine, ten hours every every chance I get. Um, so the more sleep everything is, the better. And then, you know, the raw processing power, that's about all you can do for it. But your rectal elective power, um, you can just add to your database. Um, you know, the way the brain works, uh, so you, when you learn a skill, you get one of these. Um, and all the, you know, the more connections and the stronger the connections happen, the more you practice the skill. Um, so if you're trying to learn how to stop dash with Poppy W, you know, the more you do it, the more and the stronger these connections coming off, you know, the, the skill of doing it are going to be. And I know that, you know, if any of you are the, you know, a brain scientist, this isn't exactly right, but this is the concept of it. So, and this works if any of you are like athletes with uh, building muscle also in a, in a similar fashion. Um, you know, the more push-ups you do, the more push-ups you can do, the faster you can do those push-ups, um, the more your body has adapted to doing those push-ups. So the same thing with your League of Legends skills, right? The more you stop dash with Poppy W, the better you're going to be at it, um, the more fluent you're going to be at it, and the easier it is. And, you know, if you take a break from the game, you come back, you're going to be a little bit rusty. Same way, if you don't do push-ups for a year, you don't play Lee for a year, you're going to come back, you're not going to be able to do them as well. But while you have the muscle memory for your you know, actual muscles, you do for these neurological connections as well. You will pick it up much faster the second time. So once you establish this connection in your brain, you know, just like you've established it, you can build big muscles. Um, it will be reestablished just as easy. All right, so to work on your, you know, Recollective processing power, which is the only one you can really work on, aside from these three things, the eating, exercise, sleep, um, it's just practice, right? It's the same way you would learn for a test. You know, whatever way you learn for a test, everyone has different ways of learning, right? Some people are active, so some people need to go into the client um, and they need to practice things. You might need like a practice partner to practice dodging skills and hitting skills. Um, you know, some people like me, like I, I can learn just by thinking about the stuff so I can go read the patch notes and I can see okay the damages change and I can think about it and I go okay so instead of the skill doing 200 damage it's 180 damage combined with the other skills I know I can kill a champion at 50 magic resist um, if they're at 600 health and then I can you know just repeat that to myself a couple of times go into game and then as soon as the champion hits 600 health and I'm at that part of the game I, I know I can kill them Right. Some people have to practice it. Some people can read it. Um, some people need to see it. So maybe you need to be thinking about it while watching you know, a, a challenger level game. Right. And, and kind of see how they do to mimic them. So whatever way you learn best, you just need to figure out, you know, I can give examples. Um, but until you try it and see what works best for you, you'll you won't know how to. Or how the best, most efficient way to learn and um, increase your, you know, recollective processing power or your, you know, your database to recall on information from.